Today we review Johnny English for Herring Movie Club. Johnny English is the 2003 action-adventure comedy with Rowan Atkinson in the role of a secret agent. He is a rather inept secret agent, but he has been put into this position because MI5 has lost all the other agents, which was his fault. Let's point that out to start with. It is uh, Johnny English's fault that all the other agents are dead. So the movie begins with a little fantasy scene of Johnny English where he's getting the girl and saving the day and then he comes back and he's just a secretary or just a desk jockey and then everyone else dies in MI5 due to a funeral for their top agent and then that funeral casket actually blows up. Johnny was on the detail for security and let that slip through but it's now his time to shine. So Johnny English is the only MI5 agent left and now he has the responsibility of figuring out what happened to all the other ones. And that's where John Malkovich's character comes in, Pascal Sauvage. It's kind of funny how he gets introduced because John English thinks he's a waiter, um, which shows you need to watch what you say regardless of who you think you're talking to. Sauvage has invested in quite a lot of prisons, so he wants to become king so he can turn England into a prison. He'll put walls around England and then have all the criminals just on England. John English obviously doesn't want this to happen because that's his homeland. Natalie Imbruglia is the love interest for Johnny English in this. She plays Lorna Campbell, and I would have much rather seen her in the main spotlight just being a female spy than having Johnny English bumbling around. But I think that was the whole movie is to have this inept spy trying to get through everything. But it just felt like it was a net film trying to push through. I did enjoy John Malkovich's parts where it's about I love anything with John Malkovich. Um, and there are parts where it's funny, like when Johnny English is trying to find out where the crown jewels went, and he's like, did they come from the top? Did they come from the windows? They definitely couldn't have come from below, and then almost falls into the hole that's right there. In Johnny English, it reminds me a lot of Get Smart with Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway. If you're looking for a parody spy movie, I'd uh, recommend that one over this one. Johnny English, it does have its comedic moments. It has uh, John Malkovich in it but it just falls short for me so Johnny English it is a delete I didn't really enjoy watching this it felt a bit too long for me that was today we review for Harry Movie Club there'll be an annotation here it'll take you to a playlist that Mr. Harry Burt has created of all the YouTube videos that are entered you can also find the link in the description if you want to reach me you can do so on Twitter at MadLFan you can use hashtag today we review. Please do. That way I'll find your suggestions for future things to watch. And also you can leave a comment down below of future things to watch. And there are other ways to reach me in the description. So thanks for watching. And this, like I said, was for Harry Movie Club.